Hi everyone, Cash the Knee Check Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Preoccupations album, New Material. Preoccupations is a Calgary rock quartet. This is their second full-length album since undergoing a politically correct name change in 2016 from uh, what they were formerly known as, Viet Cong. Now, in this transitional moment, the band recorded what I felt was one of the best post- and art-punk albums of 2016, a record that, in comparison with their older work under the Viet Cong name, was so much more versatile and dynamic, not just simply a slightly more experimental and odd take on the moody and very dark sounds of Joy Division. And with this new album, new material, I was essentially looking forward to another helping of that, or even more progression, but uh, the lead singles, the teaser tracks to this record did leave me kind of concerned. Mostly because I, I didn't really care for them. Mostly because I found the production and the mixing to be so washed out and kind of horrid. The song Espionage features these squelchy, hollow bass lines grinding away in a mix that feels way too roomy for the lead vocals, like they, they don't feel that supported. There's like a very distant snare, hi-hat pattern going on in the background, but uh, it, it doesn't provide much in the way of propulsion to, to the instrumental. Mostly I feel like the mix on this track is made up of ghostly reverb apparitions as opposed to like, tangible instrumentation. Still, at the core of the song, it's not a bad tune, sort of sounds like a nod to Gang of Four, with its driving groove and its call-and-response vocals. I also like the sinister keyboards that pop up on this track in the last leg. There are some admirable qualities to this song, but there simultaneously are characteristics that are really just kind of test the boundaries of my ability to enjoy preoccupations music. The song Disarray suffers from a similarly cavernous mix, to the point where the kind of dreamy post-punk ballad contained within loses its shape. Still, I do find some of the refrains on the song to be kind of haunting. Disarray, 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 disarray. And beyond these teaser tracks, I'm, I'm feeling pretty mixed on the deep cuts as well. The song Decompose caught my attention right away with its cycling, very tight groove and drum pattern, topped with these sparkling, squawking guitar arpeggios that just like they're very sour and soaked in a very bright sheen. Not really sure if I care for the syrupy lead and harmonized vocals that top the instrumental, though. They kind of moan out and grow very tiresome before the track is even over, and feel kind of out of place over the very aggressive rhythm section of the track. The song Manipulation feels like a heftier, more patience-testing serving of the um, vaguely tortured cacophony that the band has been delivering up until this point. Just kind of feels like a forgettable motif in the middle of the record. The song Antidote has more meat on its bones. It has this cycling, very funky but dark groove. Shouty lead vocals and these hypnotic shimmering synth chords pulsating at a very quick pace, but then suddenly the track transitions into this very off-kilter drum pattern with these vocals that are like really deadpan and kind of ominous and creepy. It's almost like a a, a, a goth punk uh, chant. It's very cultish, however, uh, it, it grows very tedious before the song reaches the, the six minute mark. It's, it's almost like the band was uh, trying to dare listeners to finish the track. I appreciate the band changed things up and the industrial aesthetic of this portion of the track, but the fizzled out ending, the fact that this leg of the song doesn't really go anywhere, just leaves me cold. The two most likable tracks on the entire record actually came toward the end. I'm not talking about the song Doubt, which in comparison with the other tracks is so washed out and so patience testing, it, it almost reaches a point of parody. No, I, I really like the song Solace, which is probably the album's catchiest track. A lot of very groovy, angular rhythms and driving bass and sharp guitar leads. The song features a smooth transition into a very overwhelming kind of fuzzy, saturated hook. And despite the deadpan delivery of the vocals, the lyrics, the melody, I guess you could say, of the vocals is pretty catchy. And the song Compliance, the finisher to the record, which oddly enough is this experimental rock drone. It's hypnotic, it's enveloping, it's sinister. You can really swim in the sound of this track. Uh, uh, sonically, it's very pleasing to me, uh, but I just find it odd that for a band like Preoccupations, a, a song like this becomes a highlight, not just kind of a weird experimental way to end the album just to be like, eh, 
kind of a kind of a gotcha. No, it, it actually manages to be a highlight uh, among a batch of in incredibly lackluster songs and uh, instrumentals. As much as I've admired and enjoyed Preoccupation's material up until this point, there was just something really off with this album. There was something off with the songwriting, something off with the production. For me, it was just their most lackluster release yet, and I really don't know what to say about it aside from that. I'm feeling a light to decent five on this thing. Pretty indifferent on it. Transition, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Just leave a comment in the comments. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Preoccupations, forever.